All right, so I'm gonna fix my Wii controllers, hopefully, today. Um, I have one of these that works and the other three don't work, and I'm just gonna use one for this video. So I'm gonna take these two out. Actually, I'm gonna use the blue one. You can see with this black one, there's batteries in here, and when I press the button, it lights up. The battery's working, it connects to the Wii, it's just fine. But this one, with batteries in it, press the button, there's nothing. So this one does not work, this is the one I'm gonna fix. And looking in here, I don't immediately see any corrosion in here. This side looks all right. This one is gonna be more likely to be corroded than this side anyway. But this one's gonna be a lot easier to get out because you can see there's a lot of, there's like access to it here where this side is completely covered. To access this side, I would have to pop open the whole thing, unscrew the two screws here and the two screws in here and then I could separate this and get under the circuit board and uh, take that out and soak it. But all we're gonna do is soak it with some distilled white vinegar. Uh, it should only be a few minutes. Um, in the tutorials that I've watched, they use much finer, smaller instruments to unlodge these, but I don't have a small screwdriver, so I'm gonna use a flathead screwdriver and hope for the best. So I'm gonna try to pop this out. All right, looks like I unlocked both of those out of place. You can see they're a little raised there, just with a little more pressure underneath here, and hopefully with just one push. Perfect. So here we have it. There is a little bit on the part that actually touches the battery here that looks a little fuzzy. So I'm gonna soak it, hope for the best. Just enough so that it is submerged. Put that in there. Oh yes, yeah, bubbling. So you're supposed to wait for it to stop bubbling completely, but it looks like it is close to doing that already. So, all right, so now I've got some paper towels here. It looks like a little bit of gunk came out of that. And just dry it off with a paper towel. Real nice and good. Wow, that actually looks much better. So hopefully you can see, it's a little shinier. That fuzz is gone, so let's pop this back in in a sec. Make sure it's fully, fully dry. I need to push that back in a little. All the way back in. All right, so now that's clean, that's in place. Uh, I compared it to this other one to make sure it's in place, and I can see now here, this one is much dirtier. You can kind of see the discoloration in there. It's a little more like a brass tint than like the clear silver. And that uh, like greenish bluish gray right above that, that's the corrosion. And under there, you can't really see it, but under there, it's pretty fuzzy too. But let me pop the batteries back into this one. Okay. All right, so batteries in there, let's find out. And there we go. That does actually work, I'm surprised. There was not that much. So even with like a little bit, it might still be enough to warrant a cleaning of this. I'm lucky I didn't have to take the um, the bottom part off of this, like the circuit out of here. But if I do with another one, I'll, uh, I'll hop back on here and I'll record that as well. So as a quick aside um, from the feature, I finished cleaning all of these, but yeah, they all popped in. Actually, let's test this one. I didn't test this one. There it is. So yeah, this worked for uh, all four of these controllers. Um, they Some of them were pretty bad. Um, and I didn't even have to take the circuit board out and get this one underneath. So this works really well, actually.